Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quartic equation x times x plus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 5 is equal to 24. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since this negative 5 plus 2 negative 5 plus 2 is equal to negative 3. This negative 3 plus 0, negative 3 plus 0 is equal to negative 3. So, we combine these two terms x times x minus 3 and we combine these two terms x plus 2 and x minus 5 like this x times x minus 3. 3, we make a group times we make another group of x plus 2 times x minus 5 is equal to 24. Now, this x times x will become x squared in x times negative 3 negative 3x times this x times x x squared and x times negative 5 negative 5x plus 2 times x plus 2x and 2 times negative 5 negative 10 is equal to 24. Next x squared minus 3 times x times x squared. This uh, negative 5x plus 2x will become negative 3 times x minus 10 is equal to 24. Now, here we have x squared minus 3x and here we have x squared minus 3x. So, we suppose that let x squared minus 3 times x is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation. So, this equation will become m times m minus 10 is equal to 24. Now, this m times m will become m squared and m times negative 10 negative 10 m is equal to 24. We move this 24 to the left hand side then this equation will become m squared minus 10 times m minus 24 is equal to 0. Now, negative 12 plus 2 is equal to negative 10. Negative 12 times 2 is equal to negative 24. So, we rewrite this equation as m squared minus 12 times m plus 2 times m minus 24 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, we can factor out m and in bracket left m minus 12 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 2 in bracket left uh, m minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this expression m minus 12 m minus 12 is common. So, we factor out this m minus 12 and uh, in bracket left uh, m plus 2 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression m plus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m minus 12 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to negative 2 and from this equation, we get the value of m 12. Now, recall that we have supposed
we have supposed that x squared minus 3x is equal to n. We have supposed that x squared minus 3 times x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to negative 2, then this equation will become x squared minus 3 times x is equal to negative 2. We move this negative 2 to the left hand side, then this will become x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this x squared x squared and we split this negative 3 x as negative 2 times x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms uh, we can factor out x and in bracket left uh, x minus 2. From these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this x minus 2, this x minus 2 is common. So, we factor out this x minus 2 and in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 2 and from this equation we get the value of x 1. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation and this is the second value of x, this is the second solution of this equation. Now, to find other solutions in this equation we put the value of m 12. So, this equation will become x squared minus 3 times x is equal to 12. We move this 12 to the left hand side then this will become x squared minus 3 times x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to negative 12. And uh, according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative times the value of b negative 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write in negative 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 12 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 3 will become positive 3 plus or minus square root of this negative 3 squared will become 9 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 12 plus 48 divided by this 2 times 1 will become 2. Next x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of this 9 plus 48 will become 57 divided by 2. So, from here we get uh, other two values of x, x 3 is equal to 3 plus uh, root 57 over 2 and x 4 is equal to 3 minus root 57 over 2. So, we have uh, four solutions of uh, this equation.